What's up, brothers and sisters? My melanated people, we shall overcome. So keep your head up. But I gotta, I got, I gotta get this off my chest. Amongst the conscious community, with all these YouTubers on here, once again, everybody got their own ideology. You know what I'm saying? I got my own ideology. I got, I got my own belief. But like I said, the, the model of my channel is the brighter you shine, the more you influence. So a lot of you influencers feel like that your ideology is solid. But don't none of y'all let your audience know when y'all waving on, on, on the things that y'all learn. And I found that, I find that, I find that real, real uh, narcissistic because how you gonna stand on something and you still growing? You know what I'm saying? Like the blind is truly leading the weak. I mean, you got, you even got homosexuals that have the nerve to try to preach the gospel to you. So basically, we are truly in Revelation, man. We are truly in, in Revelation. I was watching the show called The Daily Blast, and it's a chick on her named Erica Cobb. And if anybody familiar with day uh, day television, The Daily Blast is a uh, is a show that comes on, and it has a host of four people. And uh, the one the the one black person on her, her name is. Erica Cobb, and uh, she was basically uh, endorsing uh, Ellen Page, and Ellen Page wanted to change her name to Elliot Page because she grew up watching the movie E.T. Now, this is a full-blown woman, but she always felt like that she had feelings to be a man when she was young, so that's neither her nor there. Uh, what I want to ask the Israelites is, do y'all honestly feel like the 12 tribes is Mexican, Indians, Filipino, all these different races? Because my thing is this, does Caucasian have tribes? Do they have tribes too? Do they have tribes? So... You can't you can't send people down a narrow path, man. You know what I'm saying? You just you can't do it. You know, if you ain't using your ass and you blind as you getting your knowledge and you just getting all of these followers and these people to follow you down this narrow path, it's gonna be a tight. It's gonna be real tight. And people are going to get nervous and people are going to get frustrated and people are going to lose faith. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to take I'm not going to take the, the short road. You know what I'm saying? I want my road wide so I have room to maneuver, you know, and uh, I don't know. I just it just it just ba it just baffles me how I see homosexuals that has the audacity to try to preach the word to people that's struggling just like them. I mean, man, are you, I mean, are you even, are they, man, are they, are they, do they even have, e, 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 uh, do they have a, a solid ground to stand on to even, to be able to preach the gospel to somebody? And once again, that's that's, 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 that's that's what religion does. You know what I'm saying? You got you got all these different people with all these different ideologies, and and that's why God is punishing us, man. Because everybody wants the crown on their head. Everybody wants the crown on their head. Everybody wants it. And that's what that's what 2020 did. 2020 did with all the social injustice and, you know, the police brutality and the Breonna Taylors 
and the Floyds and and the Trayvon Martins. So with coronavirus, everybody had to sit in the house. Everybody feel like they got smart. This is what I'm gonna do. So all the all the prominent, not just not just the prominent, but the people with a religious background, they got pushed to the forefront as leaders. Just like in Revelation, it's a lot of false prophets. So my thing is this. Is everybody worthy to preach the gospel? Is everybody worthy to open this book up and to preach to somebody like they're ordained? You know what I'm saying? I mean, this, this shit baff, it baffles me. It baffles me. Let me let me let me let me put this in perspective, man. Black people, biblically, it says that we have twelve tribes, twelve lost tribes. Now, how are these tribes identifiable? I don't think in the Bible it says nothing about Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm gonna go deeper than that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go through history. I'm gonna go through history. Uh, Africa was called Abula Khan. Uh, is that how you pronounce it? I could pronounce. I could be pr pronouncing it wrong. But then it was changed. Egypt was called. Now Africa was called Abula Khan. Then it was turned into Africa. Just like America. And then you got. Uh, I think Egypt was called Kemet. Now you got Egyptians, you got Europeans, you got Americans, you got Asians, you got uh, uh, Philippine, Philip, Philip, Philippines or whatever. I mean, all of these, all of these names are the mark of the beast. That's their stamp. You know what I'm saying? Man, y'all thinking, man, y'all thinking all these, all, it's history. People got the history timeline kind of jacked up. They don't realize how recent this shit was. These conquerors, these, 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 these settlers has been settling in different countries and taking this shit over for years and putting their stamp on it. So I don't give a fuck what you say. If you ain't black, you know what I'm saying? Your screen and your skin and your skin don't crack. You ain't my brother, my sister, man. I ain't trying to spread no hate, but it's the spirit. It's the spirit. You can't just, this is a lot of deception out here in Revelation. Just like Revelation said, it's a lot of deception, man. I mean, just cause you look the part don't mean that you, that you, that you fit the bill, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and the devil is a deceiver. You know what I'm saying? He's a deceiver, man, and and I, I'm just I just I'm just really fed up with the climate of social media and everybody selling out for these views. That's what I'm sick of. You know what I'm saying? Look at the th the things that we deal deal with on a daily basis. We deal with deceivers, infiltrators, robbers. Thieves, whoremongers, but the main the main one that you need to watch out for is the infiltrators, the ones that want to come in your life, whether it's in in the flesh, obviously through social media. You know, it's a lot of it's a lot of uh, pagan worshiping going on. You know, a lot of people saying that they that they're spiritually woke, but I bet you they be getting some Easter eggs. On Sunday, you know what I'm saying. This, this is, this is really revelation, man. Um, I just had to get a lot of stuff off my chest, man, because you know I hold so much stuff in. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't do YouTube for the views. I do it for my spiritual gain. I'm not an influencer. I, tr I try to influence those who can understand what I've been through. But as far as me trying to, you know, ordain myself 
as something greater than the most, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just basically trying to lay my foundation and, and, and I want my own timeline of my spiritual growth. That's all I want. That's all I want. I'm not trying to compare myself to nobody. I'm not trying to be something I'm not. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live. I am living. I am in the flesh. But I, I consider myself a very spiritual person, man. And my daily walk is my daily walk. So, you know, for those who understand, that's for y'all. For those who don't, it ain't for you. You know, uh, it's a lot of, um, it's so much witchcraft out here, man. It's just, it's, cause don't y'all see it? Don't y'all see the witchcraft, man? It's, it's just, it's, it's unbelievable. I just wish, I just wish these Israelites, I wish these Israelites would, um, would stop trying to lead the weak because has the blind going to lead the weak? I mean, ain't nobody on social media got a higher knowledge to where you too big to grow. But once you say something and you stand on it and you, you, you sitting there and you clowning all these people and you saying, this is my brother, this is my brother. But what happens if you find out he's an infiltrator? What happens when you find out he's an infiltrator? You know what I'm saying? You got, you got, for instance, you got females that will come in your life as women, but then you found out they harder than the average chick. Women got men that come in their life, think they got a knight and shine and normal, but then find out that he's softer than toilet tissue. So you have to get to know one spirit. You know what I'm saying? You just, you can't just, this shit just don't happen in one day. You know what I'm saying? So for those who saying that the, the Indians and the Mexicans are our brother, man, look at the spirit. And that's how you would tell if somebody's your brother or your sister or not. Solely the spirit. Salute, man. God bless y'all. Have a blessed day.